Commissioner-designate. The new staff regulations under Article 27 state that in order to facilitate recruitment on the broadest possible geographical basis, the institutions shall strive to support multilingual and multicultural education for the children of their staff. However, European schools are now overcrowded in both Brussels and Luxembourg. They encounter serious problems to get seconded teachers from certain member states and like the rest of this heading, find themselves under severe budgetary constraints. I would like to ask you, what do you plan to do to address these problems of space, teaching and also of funding? Thank you. Um, what would I do? Uh, back, <laughs> convince people. Uh, but on a very serious note, I, I see the financial problems uh, very clearly. Uh, what we have is uh, a situation in which uh, uh, many other institutions are benefiting from the uh, European schools, but they're saying, we are part of the European budget, so you have to pay, uh, and yet you go to Frankfurt, and uh, who is there the biggest beneficiary of European uh, schools. So how we get other institutions to be more engaged, to be more willing to contribute, how we get member states to be more engaged, more willing to uh, contribute. Uh, we, uh, we already have, people are very concentrated on this question. We have a strategy, uh, we have an engagement, we have actions being taken, uh, and I will plug into this uh, at my level and uh, try to move this uh, resolution on the finances of the, of the schools uh, forward. The same applies to Brussels. We have an offer of a school, well, it's a great offer, except that the school is 50, 50 kilometers away. It's not going to be very uh, useful to resolve the uh, uh, overcrowding uh, in Brussels. Uh, but uh, why I think this is imp very important, aside of, aside of the fact that, that we are committed to the uh, diversity uh, of our staff and, of course, of their families, uh, uh, I am very strongly in favor of acting on this because it is part of the attractiveness of working in the EU. Uh, you want people, we want people to come in the EU. More often than not, their salaries are compensating for their needs. It is other things that make the EU attractive. We are not, you know, it's, it's not the money because private sector may be offering more or in their country they may be happier. What is attractive is the whole package and part of this package very big part is education for the children, especially since we are on the market to attract younger people, and that means younger families uh, with, with children. So I will come back to you when we have some progress to report.